I went to Arunagiri Yogeshwara once. I remember very clearly. There was a death in the Thiruvannamalai village. I went and told him about that. The important person in the village died and he is a known person to the whole village. He just smiled and said, Yes. Reached Kailasa and now he is waiting for the next birth. So casually, I just asked him, how this whole flow you are able to take it so casually? Then he smiled and said, understand? Whatever exists outside, exists inside. Whatever exists inside, exists outside. There is a death outside, there is a death inside. If you know how to understand the death dimension of you inside, you will understand the death dimension outside. You have all the 25 dimensions in you. I just looked at him and said, only one dimension of me I am able to understand. If I think of me as a creator, I am not able to think of me as a maintainer. If I think of me as a maintainer, I am not able to understand I am the destroyer. If I think of me, I am the destroyer. I am not able to think I put people in delusion or pull it out of delusion. If I think I am liberating, I am not able to think I am the destroyer and I am the person who puts the people in delusion and pulling it out. He just looked at me and said, Understand? Listen to this truth. This can be Anupaya, direct initiation. Direct initiation. For all of you, listen. Unfortunately, human beings are brainwashed in a very young age by the mediocre human beings, the mediocre society, focus means it is only on one thing, no, focus means it is on oneness not on one thing. He told me, for a few days to practice, tie the eyes and practice the archery. Tamil, in Tamil he told, Kanna, Kanna kati te, deno and the will ambu paragupa. Still my mother may remember, in the house, I will make a ruckus with bow and arrow. All the time, I will be having the bow and arrow, tie the eyes and try to walk with blindfolded and play with bow and arrows. You see, my house is a large giant family. Lot of kids will be all around there. And she will always be in fear that what I will do, where my, uh, my arrows will fall <laughs> and she will scream here and abdi pandra. <laughs> she doesn't have a problem in me playing with bow and arrow because she knows I will never hurt anyone if my if I am able to see. But she is always insecure. She is frightened about me tying the eyes and then playing with bow and arrow. She will still, she will literally beg, Sami, Sami, Sami. Kanna terandu paathkiti ni enna vanna pannu. Kanna kati tiye mali arra. She will beg me that with open eyes you play with bow and arrow, nobody will stop you. I will never stop and I won't feel insecure. But if you tie your eyes and play with the bow and arrow, we, you don't know where you are, whom you are hitting, where the <laughs> arrow is hitting and we don't know where it is going to go. Because house is all around, everywhere the kids are there. Then I used to go to the backyard. 
in the garden or in the temple itself. I'll go to the fourth prakaram and fifth prakaram where people will not be there and I'll start doing it. He, told, he taught me this. I can give this as a technique to all of you. Try this. 